couple of nice tying methods in with it that you might like to see. Now the hook choice is up to yourself. I'm just using a camisan. It's a B110 size 10. Thread. I'm going to use a black thread. In this case a Danville 6 -0. Basically a flat thread. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the thread at the eye. Take it down until basically in line with the point of the hook. Now what I'm going to do is tie in a back, in, a back on this. And I'm going to use a medium Opal Mirage. This one here. I'm just going to tie it on the way down. And on the top. So I'll just take it all the way down. It's come underneath them, but it's at this point, but a couple of turns below or under the Mirage. It's going to curl this round so it sits out of the way. And then we tie in a from a rib peacock quill. It's a strip peacock quill. It's peacock eye. Basically, I've used bleach to remove the fine hair, and I'm left with the quills. Tear one off. I'm just going to cut this into a slight point. Tie it on the side, and then come up. And I'm going to come up two thirds of the way, and then tie in some red. Oh, basically accent red, it's like a crystal flash. This one here. I catch that on the side. The, the reason I like using this one is because it's a lovely clean, it's a metallic red. Just bring it up, nice and easy. This point here, just in line with the point of the hook. Trim that away. And then I'm going to bring Opal Mirage up. Now you, what what you can do is just get some super glue. Just run it underneath. It's so it doesn't move. Just come up and then touch it. Nice and reasonably tight. That point there. And then you can catch it down. I don't put too much super glue on. See what it's like. Just make sure it's dry. Then I'm going to get some regular or original a UV resin, a thick UV resin. Just going to put it on top. Just below about this area here. And I'm going to spread it out with a dubbing needle. Just all the way around first. Just going to take my thread out of the way. Just take your time. Spreading it out. You don't want it as heavy down the bottom, you want it quite thinned in there. If you need some more, sham, just a tiny bit more. Work it underneath. Now, what I do is usually clean my needle and I can bring, as long as the resin spread on the actual shank, then I can bring it to the point where I want it to be at its thick, thickest is at the top, thin at the bottom. So obviously you're getting a taper. When you get to there, then you bring your quill. Now you have to be ready with your torch. So you have to set this straight away because when you wind this up you're going to form small blobs of the resin between the turns the quicker you go the better so you get a nice bead effect so all the way around so you're going to be quick away the excess quill and just build your thorax, your thorax up a wee bit. Just 
going to tidy this area. Now I'm going to use basically edge bright. This is this material here. Fluorescent orange one. Uh, for this buzzer. So basically what I've done is I've cut cut away a one mil width section, just trimmed away. Use a Stanley blade if you can a ruler. Works, to me it works much easier. Now what I'm gonna do here is just bring it the point underneath, put a fold in it. Come underneath and then basically you form in like a your wing buds. Come on top. Now a couple of turns just to secure it. Now you can see how it's sitting. Get the shape that you want and that looks okay. Once you're happy with that then you can invest it in a couple of more turns. And then trim away best you can. Use your nail just to make sure it's not going over the eye. Now, what, what I'm going to do, you can put breathers on this if you want, or you can use it, leave it as it is, and then sort of build it up slightly. With the resin, uh, now, what I like to do is use a, the lighter resin this time. I'm just going to put a slight blob in the top and let it settle into the, what I'll do, it'll seep down into the, the wing buds. You can bring that on the top, just let it sit down, you'll see, there it goes. Get the shape that you like. Again, when you're happy with the shape, you can set the resin. Top and bottom. Now having this allows the light to come through, I mean, you can see how that catches the light. If I turn that, you'll see how it brings out the mirage. And that's what you're looking for. I mean, once you get going, you can tie a lot of these really quick, so you can. Now, what I was going to do, tie in some white floss, just a rayon white floss. Two or three strands here. Yeah, a bit maybe it's quite thin floss. You can use marabou if you want, but this to, to, to do it this way, you're better with floss of some sort. Now, what I'm going to do is come underneath. And basically lift it on top. Then do like a, a bow tie effect. Now come round, do like one turn, just one turn on that side. And come round. Do it two or three times. Now I'm going to have to encourage this to come on top. So just pull both ends from my head. Some people don't like the breathers, some do, so I'm showing you how, you, how I do it, so. Once you've put three or four turns in, then you can whip finish. And trim away now. You can see it looks, what it looks like just now. Just sitting on top. And uh, you can encourage them to come away from one another. Just like, basically. Same way you would do a, like a spinner type fly if you were doing a dry fly. Now you want to cut, nice straight cut, maybe a mil and a half, maybe. No, I wouldn't go much more than that. And then you can bring this down. You can see how it gives a nice effect. A strand there cut, so I'm just going to break them off. And there we are. Now, to finish it off, I like to put a very fine coat of varnish. Make sure it's nice and thin. Just take your time. Watch, don't touch the breathers. This just finishes it off. I like to use the varnish just to make sure it's okay. And there we are. Now, just to give you an idea what it looks like, I've got a torch off my bike, 
Which is LED, so you'll be able to see how the light affects through it. And uh, how you can see the light. You see how it catches really well. Uh, just as the sun will shine on it, that's what that would do. And uh, certainly looks apart. Thank you.